Tunubu lose as court approves 25% vote before it can be sworn in. Ruled in favor of Peter Obi. Hey, hey. When I don't hear them, I said it that um, this very decision of uh, 25%, no 25%, will definitely be what will bring Tunubu's disqualification. And don't forget that a lot of people have already started um, coming up with um, coming up with uh, 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 with suggestions. You understand? It's it's amazing, my dear listeners. Well, um, I remembered uh, uh, Obas uh, Obasanjo, you know, making reference to his period when he, when uh, uh, he contested with. Um, with uh, I think it's not uh, Buari yes, Buari in the time past, and um, how, and um, how he was able to win with this same twenty five percent. You understand? Then they still made reference to um, the government before uh, 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 before uh, President Mo Buari won um, Jonathan. And how this same twenty five percent was taken note of and observed before a winner emerges. So I see no reason why Tunubu's own administration will now be taken to be a different thing. Thank God the court has finally um, decided and they have stamped it as a most observed and a consider a, a considered decision before. He can be sworn in, <laughs> my people. No, be smart in May 29. Hey, hey, my people, let's check the content. This is evening news. A video circulating on Facebook claimed that the Supreme Court has ruled in favor of the Labour Party presidential candidate Peter Obi regarding the 25% of FCT vote controversy. However, Legit.ng findings and African Check confirmed that this claim is incorrect, as Obi's petition is still with the presidential election tribunal and has not yet reached the Supreme Court. The video also references a TV interview with Michael Odaka, the Attorney General of the Federation, in which they discussed the Supreme Court's 2008 interpretation of the Section 133 of the Nigerian Constitution. A viral video posted on Facebook alleged that Peter Obi, the Labour Party presidential candidate who is contesting the results of the federal February 25th, 2023 election, has received a favorable ruling from the Supreme Court. Obi's petition to the presidential election tribunal includes a request that Bola Tunubu who ran under the All Progressive Congress not be declared president elect due to his failure to secure 25% of the votes in the Federal Capital Territory FCT. Abuja has alleged mandated by the Nigerian Constitution. My people, the truth will be told. You see, we cannot just take because of one person and change what has been in existence for ages. No, if we are to tell ourselves the truth, that is it. Because of 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 Tunubu, we will not change what has been on, what has been as a tradition, what is already embedded in the constitution. Ha, huh. my people, let us be realistic. Let us tell ourselves the truth. It's not fair. I will tell you for one. Since it's twenty five percent has been the agreed uh, percentage that will bring the difference between the winner and the, uh, and, and the opposition. Let it be observed. That should be no change. You understand? The INEC chairman is the Confucianist, is the one that has caused all of these things. If he has followed the constitution before declaring Tunubu the winner, I'm telling you, all this shit wouldn't have happened. Probably there would have been a rerun election. And Tunubu will not be going about promoting himself as president yet. Now he has gone everywhere promoting himself as president. 
He has been traveling to places. He has even uh, appointed ministers and commissioners. <laughs> uh, I'm more. Don't be smart, you know. Um, let's quickly hear from you and let us know what your take, what your opinion, and what your advice on what has just been taken a note of this very um, evening. It's quite interesting. Don't forget to leave them below the comment section. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos. Thank you.